Lady. <laughs> it's your old pal here, Donatella Versace. Welcome to Ms. Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 Maya Rudolph SNL performances. We're showing you the coolest videos for you to groove and get down to. It's really great. Yeah, man. I cannot believe you're on Hot Ones. Now I feel you. I, I still can't tell if this is beneath me. Miss Fabre is going up on the lyrics. Hard to do props and words at the same time, kids. Keep it together, Lola. A five, six, seven, and the potable ray, potable ray, all right. For this list, we're looking at the best Saturday Night Live performances from Maya Rudolph as both a cast member and a host. What's your favorite Maya Rudolph SNL performance? Let us know in the comments. Number 10, Maya Angelou. After the success of Betty White's Off Their Rockers proved that pranks weren't just a young person's game, SNL came up with the next logical step, a version hosted by legendary author Maya Angelou. I did it. I have removed the bottom of your bag. Sister Maya, was this an act of malice? No, Brother West. It was an act of whimsy. In this sketch, Rudolph plays Angelou as the host of a prank show called I Know Why the Caged Bird Laughs. And her hilarious impression is perfect for highlighting the absurdity of someone like Angelou doing something as juvenile as tricking Morgan Freeman into sitting in a pie. It appears I've sat in a pie. I suppose you have. But I feel no shame sitting in that pastry. Just human nature, I suppose. <laughs> Rudolph's impression is clearly done with affection towards her subject, and we hope that if Angelou saw it, she enjoyed it. This is a prank. It's an honor. For me as well. <laughs> Number 9. Shonda the Super Showcase Spokesmodel One of the best parts of Maya Rudolph returning to host SNL in season 37 was seeing her reunite with her Bridesmaids co-star Kristen Wiig. You two look lovely today. Thanks, Carl. Shonda's wearing Christopher Kane. And Vonda's wearing a Christopher Kane knockoff. In this game show sketch, Bill Hader's host informs Vanessa Bayer's losing contestant that she's missed out on some fabulous prizes, including matching luggage and an alleged lifetime supply of frozen chicken, which are then introduced by Shonda and Vonda, two spokesmodels from somewhere around Norway. You'll be golfing all day and leaving before dinner. Go to see a pebble beach. <laughs> Rudolph and Wig clearly love the ridiculousness of the sketch and soon start breaking, as does Hater. We just have to know what Vanessa Bayer's secret to not cracking up is. It's a mantle clock for your mantle, my clock and frog. It's always my clock and frog clock. Well, that wasn't supposed to happen. Number eight, Mirta von Biers. If Maya Rudolph is doing a European accent, it's almost guaranteed to be good. In the club track sketches, Rudolph plays Birte von Biers, host of a TRL-style show with Fred Armisen's Leonard, one that gets strangely political at times. The song is about my frustration with the aggressive tendencies of the United States to interact. Cool. Yeah, man. Wow. Let's turn up your guns, America. Yeah. Bang, it's bang. really great! Wow. If you're too young to remember music video shows like this, know that this isn't too far from reality. But no episode of TRL had a moment as great as the premiere of the new video from musical sensation Chrome, played by Matthew McConaughey. Yes, that was really a masterpiece. Mm -hmm. You're definitely on your way to America to reach a Grammy, Chrome. Wow. Plus, there's a lot less screaming in this version. We'd love to watch a full episode of Club Tracks. Wow, I love it, chili peppers. It makes me dance, punk, funk. Number seven, Kamala Harris. One of the hardest things about making SNL has gotta be figuring out who should play which political candidates. With the 2020 presidential election, the choice for casting eventual vice president Kamala Harris was immediately obvious. That's right, the senator from Kamala Fornia is present. Rudolph's Harris introduces herself as America's fun aunt or funt, more concerned with going viral or getting her own TV show than with getting votes. Since the election and inauguration, Rudolph has continued to play Harris. Oh, Kamala, not sure if you heard, but uh, I'm putting you in charge of solving a little immigration problem down at the Mexican border. 
Yes, I did hear that. Wow. Thank you for the opportunity. Yeah. Such a fun, solvable problem. She's also received two Emmys for her performance. The vice president has expressed her admiration for Rudolph's impression. After all, imitation is the sincerest form of flattery. It would have been enough. And if you're just vice president... Oh no, that won't be enough. Number 6. Pamela Bell Before she was Kamala, Maya Rudolph was Pamela, a woman who presented her own unique spin on the American national anthem in this sketch. She... <laughs> Sportscasters Tim McCarver and Joe Buck introduce Bell, the winner of a grocery store contest at the 2006 World Series. Bell sings like she doesn't know where exactly she is, and coherent phrases are optional with the Star Spangled Banner. The blues, barata, stripes, and right. The longer the sketch goes on, the funnier it gets. And despite how ridiculous this performance is, it's still evident that Rudolph is an excellent singer. B to the R to the A to the V to the E. Thank you! She is Minnie Ripperton's daughter, after all. Number 5. Whitney Houston Whitney Houston was a larger-than-life personality and singer. So, who better to play her than Maya Rudolph? What, what, uh, what brings you two here? After our interview with Diane Sawyer, I, I haven't been able to sleep. The two-time musical guest was spoofed a dozen times by Rudolph between 2002 and 2011, appearing on Weekend Update with husband Bobby Brown, played by Tracy Morgan, starring in a Geico commercial, and pronouncing words in rather unusual ways. I lost control of my SUV. I lost control of my bowels. <laughs> and my mind, when I found Bobby Brown in a hot tub with three hoopty hoopties from a Jay-Z vidya. These sketches aren't exactly kind to the late singer and the many troubles she was dealing with, but Rudolph is as committed as ever to the role, and she seems to understand what made Houston such a captivating presence. And I'm shocking what love can do! And I'm shocking what love can do! Number 4. Jody Dietz Maya Rudolph was born in Gainesville and raised in Los Angeles. But based on this recurring sketch, you might think she was Bronx born and bred. Yeah, let me ask you a question, Drucker. How much you make at this job? Um, nothing. It's an internship. Oh, yeah, well, I got an internship, too. It's called being a mother. As Jody Dietz, the gum-smacking co-host of talk show Bronx Beat, along with Amy Poehler's Betty Caruso, Rudolph taps into a specific type of New Yorker, one eager to share her thoughts on love and life, even if it's a major case of TMI. Oh, what, I didn't tell you? I go to the doctor yesterday. Newsflash. I got IBS. Irritable bowel syndrome. Ugh. <laughs> Who doesn't have it? No chocolate, no nuts, no cheese. No. No coffee. What? No wine. What? No salt. What? No pepper. What? <laughs> Despite, or perhaps because of, her occasional intensity, Dietz is still quite likable, and her chemistry with Polar is adorable. We'd gladly accept an invitation to this show. Do you know what I figured out? The sooner we get the guest out here, the sooner we can get the show over with, then we can get out of here and we can have you know, a nice glass of wine. What am I talking glass of wine? I got IBS, I can't have any of that, so my life is over. Number three, Oprah Winfrey. Oprah Winfrey was known for occasionally showering her talk show audience with some very luxurious gifts as part of the Oprah's Favorite Things segment. Do you love nice presents? Do you? In a special birthday edition, Winfrey presents her religiously devoted audience with such treats as cashmere sweaters, turkeys, and camcorders, name-dropping plenty of celebrity friends along the way. I wore these on John Travolta's plane above! <laughs> the frenzy that ensues is flat-out ridiculous and hilarious. But if you've watched enough daytime TV, it might not feel like an exaggeration. Rudolph also does an amazing job capturing Winfrey's mannerisms and speaking style. It's a wonder she didn't play her more often. I'm turning 50, y'all. Monday on Oprah. 
Number 2. Nuni Schoner Once again, Maya Rudolph plus Fred Armisen and European accent equals success. In this sketch, Rudolph plays Nuni Schoner, an art dealer along with her husband, also named Nuni. Oh no, please, call me Nuni. And you can call me Nuni. <laughs> Wait, I, I'm confused. I thought your name was Nuni. No, 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 she is Nuni. <laughs> yes, I am Nuni, he is Nuni. In each sketch, American characters come over and have trouble getting accustomed to the Schoner's ways, such as sitting in unconventional chairs, including one made out of hair and another shaped like teeth and a tongue, and trying to pronounce their names to their satisfaction. Look at my face. Nuni. <laughs> All right, well, I feel, I feel like uh, Nuni, right? Uh, is, that, is that right? Nuni? <laughs> that, that is very incorrect. Hey, let's uh, toss in the towel. Rudolph magnificently sends up the absurdity of high art culture with this performance. Her comedic talents deserve an art museum of their very own. Who wants seconds? Me! 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 Before we unveil our top pick, here are some honorable mentions. Christina Aguilera. Rudolph perfectly captured early 2000s Aguilera. It's just like my mama used to say to me. She used to be all, oh! means. Seen a girl? I'm an artist. Donatella Versace. The fashion icon gets an equally iconic impression. You know, there's only one thing I love more than drinking and smoking, and that's hitting the slopes. Lola Fabre. The 12 days of Christmas never sounded so something. <laughs> On the third day of Christmas, my drool to me. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Beyoncé Playing someone as influential as Beyoncé requires more than just doing an impression. It needs to become an embodiment. Fortunately, that's exactly what Maya Rudolph has done in her eight, and hopefully counting, appearances as the musical superstar. It was perfect, LL. We were in the hospital. Just me, my husband Jay, and Kanye. <laughs> First my water broke, and I was like, ah. Most of these appearances have been on the Prince Show sketches, where Rudolph's Beyonce is the talk show sidekick to Fred Armisen's Prince, but Rudolph has also played Beyoncé in sketches about the birth of her and Jay-Z's daughter Blue Ivy and an imagined appearance on Hot Ones. Put six ice cubes up on my head, then put my wig back on. But B, you on camera. I don't care. Rudolph nails Beyoncé's demeanor, whether singing, speaking, or just standing there. You can never truly replace Beyoncé. But we always cherish getting to see Rudolph play her. Do you need to stop? Beyonce, don't quit. How many more sauces are there? Uh, six. Oh, hell no. Get my agent out here. Todd, shut it down. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Ms. Mojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.